Hi, welcome. Um, rainy, rainy day here in Blighty, so I thought, why not? Why not have a look through some of the uh, some of the Seiko divers in the collection? Get them all, uh, get them all together. Um, this one most people will be familiar with. This is the uh, the famous SKX 007. Um, everybody knows what a great buy this is and what a great watch it is. Beautiful case, beautiful finishing on it. Great dial. Um, what 120 pound 110 pounds you can get these for um i think every every um every collector should try and get one of these especially if you're into dive watches as well and um, the bang for buck is unbelievable and they're so so cool um, um this one here i've got just to, to change the look and feel a bit i've got it on a, an italian color um, um strap leather strap so that's uh that's got makes it have quite a different look to to when you when you're wearing it on a rubber strap or a, or a, a metal bracelet. Okay, also got a monster. You've seen <coughs> some of these we're looking at today. If you've seen these already, maybe when when I've done a quick review of my collection, this is I think this is a second generation monster. Was it third? Can't can't quite remember. Sorry about that. Um, and, and as you can see, um, again beautiful dial, 200 meter diver called the monster got these monster looking teeth um, markers um, that have got the famous Seiko loom that will just glow forever and just so bright as well. Um, the strap this came with was, was your normal um, quite stiff um, Seiko rubber strap. This one actually I've got it on a uh, on a, a on a black squale strap actually which are, which which you might know a really really nice quality vanilla, vanilla smelling Italian rubber straps and that seems to work quite well but again these are really really reasonable I think you can get these for around 120 130 pound um, so yeah just a great robust dive watch um, that you can take out and about with you when uh, when you don't mind uh, what you've got on can be uh, bashed a little or uh, or got wet that's just a great great watch to go out and about with um, this one next one as well this is pretty famous as well this is one of this is the sumo this one's blue so it's the uh, the blue mo fantastic again fantastic looking watch they're all good aren't they Seikos they just look good the, the, the case finishing on this is beautiful the way it's polished um, and then brushed in certain places and just the just the fit and finish is just wonderful um, got this on a NATO at the moment um, again, this is probably one of the, another, another watch that I would never get rid of. I do, I do <coughs> trade and sell now and again, but this I would always really, really want a sumo on my collection. Um, it's a great, great watch. Okay, these two I've left till last. <coughs> this is uh, the uh, the uh, vint vintage uh, six one oh five. Um, quite famous in watch collecting circles in, in vintage diver collecting circles this is uh, 6105 8110 uh, this particular one was made in 1975 made famous I think by um, Apocalypse Now with um, um, the lead character wearing one of these um, because they were quite frequently uh, worn in Vietnam I think they were quite readily available in the in the, in the military bases that uh, they could be bought by soldiers then but yeah great great looking watch um beautiful beautiful case um this one um i got from a, an antique watch dealer rather than ebay and um, when they come up on ebay they're, they're they're quite tricky to get hold of and also a lot of them actually been updated with aftermarket parts um this is a, an original dial as you can see the way the loom is uh, slightly corroded i um, don't know if i can get that in there and obviously i've lost the pink on the second hand as well um, but you can definitely see that's that's an original dial, original case. I don't think it's been brushed with. It has. It's been done very very well. Um, obviously, it must have been a replacement crystal at some time because it's so clean. Um, the bezel is scratched up, so I'm pretty sure that's that's the original bezel as well. And the reason I left this one just one from last is because the last watch I was going to show you has got echoes of this, especially in the dial design, and that's the um, SBDX0001 Marine Master beautiful beautiful watch I think again I've shown this in previous videos um, drilled lugs um, easy for strap changes this is on the original bracelet I've had this on the bracelet for a few weeks now whereas I had it on rubber straps and leather straps before um, but yeah this is uh, absolutely gorgeous dial and you can see it's reminiscent 
the one we just looked at. I know they were squares all the way around, but the 12 o'clock marker and the 6 o'clock marker are very, very similar. Um, don't. This is not a ceramic bezel, um, but it, it has got that effect to it, the way it's been lacquered, I think. Um, fantastic watch. Nice and chunky. Um, everything um, built from the top. There's no case back to this at all, so everything's dropped in from the top. Um, this worries some people are actually a bit worried about getting one of these. What happens if it needs to be serviced, sent back to Japan, all the hassle. But my attitude is I, <laughs> the likelihood of me needing to get these serviced or repaired is, is quite unlikely, I think. Um, I just not, I've obviously got a large collection of watches, so I don't watch these, wear these every single day. Um, but yeah, that's uh, that's thing. That's the jewel in the crown for the, with the diver watches I've got. So thanks for watching. That was just a quick video. It's pouring with rain outside here in Blighty, so I thought I'd kill a bit of time and we'd have a quick look at those. Hope you enjoyed it. Thanks very much.